No, let's just go ahead and get started for five minutes in anyway. So we will review. You see primal age, green lantern. Quite a bit of glare on there. So we're going to collect. I'm also a huge fan of uh, the Primal Age series. They look cool like, at a glance when I first saw them. But they got pretty bad reviews as far as being not put together very well. This was under five bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'll pick it up. So it's, uh, and it's already a little bit torn when it came. So like I said, it was, I think it was like $3.94. So that's the thing. Maybe conserve a card. These are pretty good quality, so I'm not sure what they're, um, let's check the figure out itself. I think this light's too bright. There we go. Yeah, a little bit better. So they're, they're like a squatty version, kind of, um, kind of like He-Man, I guess, was the point. The, um, articulation. Not really, not really there. So the legs just kind of move in and out this way. And it's not great. So, um, you have definitely more for display, but the problem is they're not that great of a figure to display, I don't think. I mean, there's like a squatty version of a superhero, which I'm not a huge fan of. So the coloring on here is pretty good, though. I mean, you know, it's Green Lantern, of course. You got some green armor pieces. I guess he's will powered in this necklace thing that um, comes off. Let's see how he holds his weapons. Let's see. Got the axe. He does have his ring. That's a nice touch. Can't believe the green lantern without that ring, though, right? Oh, man. I'm not a fan of this. Jeez. So it's really hard to get these in here. Almost ridiculous. The shield is a clip on, that's easier. Boom, not bad. All right, but sticking it pretty good. He was ready for battle. This is a little bit, maybe a little bit cooler than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, this is Green Lantern, what is primal age, is that what I said? Yeah, you know, DC Primal Age by Funko. And we know Funko makes Funko Pops, and I hate Funko Pops. Uh, I actually like these better because they look more like the superhero than a Funko Pop ever will. I really do not enjoy those. Uh, let's see what year this came out. Let's say this came out. Um, but these came out a few years ago. Not, not too long ago. Yeah, so the yeah, DC has some Street Fighter. Uh, I don't know if Final Age had its own series or not, or just some licensed stuff. I do like that art for the Final Age. The lettering looks pretty good. Yeah, my stomach rumbling because I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, all right, so this will be a, a short live thing. I'm not sure how to announce it so people know I'm going live, but we're gonna, so I had two uh, action figures ready to go. So we'll bring Lane in here first. People showed up, I was going to choice to, you know, pick number one or two, and this will be like number one, uh, one will be number two, but we can save that for another time. So this will be about 10 minutes. Fortunately, the first five minutes just me waiting around for people. But here it is, Green Lantern Primal Age for $4. Uh, I think it's like $3.94. I, it's worth it. Anything more than $5, I'd probably skip it. Unless you're a really hardcore, you know, Green Lantern fan. I do like the weapons. And he stands well. Can't see on camera. 
Uh, maybe you can. Let's see. Yeah, we got here. I think it's like furry uh, barbarian boots. Kind of hard to see because it's white. I was going to rate this guy like 1 out of 10. I don't know. To be honest, could have used the green lamp. I think. I'd give it like a 6.5. Because it doesn't move very well at all. All right. Here's the first YouTube live stream for Triple R.